How's it going everybody? My name is Chris Shaw. I'm going to be teaching Adele, Semi Love to Your New Lover on the violin. We're going to start on an open D and move to a low B on the G string. So this is a, a high two. So we're going to go. And then we're going to move up to an E from that D. Okay. So, an important thing about this song, there's a rest at the beginning of the phrase. Rest, bum, 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 rest, bum, 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 rest, bum, 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 bum. We're going to continue on with the open D. A lot of rhythmic open D stuff here, so. And those four notes you can slur if you want. Or. I like to slide a little bit. Um, so we'll play the whole song so far. Rest. 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 Okay, so that's E, F sharp, E, D, B. That's a high two on the D string. So from the beginning, it'll sound something like this. So in the verse, she sings. This next part. Is a call and response so that's like a background vocal up to you if you want to do that or not I like to put it in there okay so now we're gonna move on to the next part as like a little pre-chorus sharp E A F sharp that repeats then we're gonna go F sharp E F sharp down to B D E F sharp important thing to to know even before you start this song is this is a this song is based on a D pentatonic scale. So if you can hear that phrase we just did. It's all D pentatonic scale. That being said, the chorus, pentatonic again. Uh, we're going to go D, F sharp, D, that's a high D. So F sharp, up to the third on the A, open A, so, okay, then we're going to go A, D, okay, A, B, A, G, F sharp, so the chorus so far, rest, that rest is really important, so I'm going to do that again. Rest. So that's just D and F sharp at the end of the chorus. It's up to you what you want to do, Boeing. Um, there's a lot of natural things in there for me, but I think it's really up to you to kind of figure that out. I also like to add slides in there just to make it more melodically interesting um, and also a little bit similar to how she sings it. Because she people don't sing. Right? You got to kind of add a little flavor in there. Um, 
vibrato in there at the end. Again, all up to you. This is just my expression of the song. Okay, so we've gone over the verse and the chorus. Now the second time the verse comes in, there's another call and response, so. Right here. Listen to the track, you'll, you'll hear it right away. Up to you if you want to include that or not. A to F sharp. And again, there's a rest at the beginning. Rest. 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 Then we're going to go to up to B. Okay? And then that A, F sharp repeats again. So the whole bridge kind of sounds like this. Rest. F sharp a lot and then you're gonna go to up to a B a F sharp twice and then we both know we ain't kids no more so so I'll play the whole bridge to shift up to my two for the for the D because I can get the vibrato in there. So after the bridge happens, she's gonna repeat that vocal line a little bit. So right. so at the end of the bridge. So that'll be F sharp. It's up to your discretion again. I think the more you can kind of express who you are and put your little inflections in there, I think that just makes it all the better. When I'm doing a cover song, I like to really do it my way and pay homage to how they did it. So for this song, I think that was kind of like a improv thing. So I like to improv myself. So I would probably do it something, you know. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole song. I would encourage you to listen to the track. Um, also, write down kind of the parts of the song. And uh, I'll try to include that in the comments below, just so you can follow along with what parts to play. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.